Hey, Driggs tradition is back after a six year break. Eyewitness News 3's Braden Wilson shows us the preparations for ski joring coming up this weekend. It is an event where a skier or snowboarder is pulled on a track by a horse through a course, making its return to Driggs. President of the Teton Valley Skijoring Corporation, Neil Stobot, says it took months of planning to bring it back. We started prepara preparing for it uh, nine months ago, and we have a, we're going to have 60 volunteers out here um, during the next week to set up the course. Uh, to make it safe for the horses, make it safe for the spectators. Stelbaugh says it's coming back due to the growing popularity of skijoring. It's a growing sport and you're seeing it from southern Colorado all the way up to Whitefish, Montana and then and then Calgary, Canada, all the way back to Maine. So it's a growing sport and it, it had been on and off here for 20 years and so now we're bringing it back because it's the exciting sport. Preparations are also underway for what is expected to be a large crowd of people to attend the event. We're expecting about a thousand spectators uh, here on over each day during the weekend. The event will take place this Saturday and Sunday. Well, the gates open at 10 and the, we'll have an opening ceremonies at 1045 and it should go until 4 or 5 p.m. each day. We'll have a band Saturday night. We're going to have there's registration on Friday for all the competitors, and we're going to have karaoke after that for a little bit of entertainment on Friday night. It will be a weekend of fun, and the highlight will be a visit from the first Native American astronaut to be on the International Space Station. In Drake's, I'm Braden Wilson.